tier list. Yes, it is finally that time. I'm going to use all of my 4000 big brain IQ to rank various web hosting providers in a tier list. Since I've been a professional web hosting reviewer for over two years now, and I've been a professional website developer for over five years now, heavily using over 15 different web hosting companies. So I finally feel like I have enough experience to properly do this. Before going into the trash tier, let's get the mediocre options out of the way. In the meh or C tier, first up we've got HostGator, a decent web hosting provider in its past, but by now the company is like 19 years old and was sold in 2012 to a larger corporation called EIG. And the general consensus is that it peaked in like 2010 and was never able to get better after that. When I was testing their shared web hosting plans, the speed was, on average, two times slower than anything else I can get with other companies. And sadly for them, they don't really offer anything extra that can make up for the speed difference. HostGator is not a major player in the English-speaking market anymore, besides their logo and name. And they choose to focus their efforts on Latin America, actually where they're pretty much the only choice and have like 10 million customers. They even run ads on TV, which are pretty bizarre. What? Já voltou? Maurício, você fechou a academia mais cedo de novo? Falta de sorte ou falta de site? Acesse a HostGator e veja como é simples e rápido criar um site bacana para movimentar a sua academia. They even tried to capture some of that success they've gotten in Latin America in the English-speaking countries by launching some English ads. But for some reason, those were even weirder and sexual? HostGator. Feel our passion. At HostGator, nothing makes us more satisfied than helping customers succeed with their websites. Make that website purr. But obviously it's not all bad. These guys obviously know how to do marketing. And recently they launched their Getting Stuck Sucks campaign on Facebook and other social media platforms that go something like this. <laughs> Getting Stuck Sucks. Given the bizarre and sexual nature of HostGator ads in the past, me being the nice guy that I am, I've decided to make a HostGator ad myself that they can use completely free of charge. It's on the house. Enjoy. Oh no, I'm stuck. Stepbrother, can you help me? Getting stuck sucks. Start with HostGator, stay with HostGator. That's unstuckable. Anyways, at the moment of making this video, HostGator doesn't have any unique features. The speed is slow, at least two times slower than the industry standard. The tech is old. Of course, the price is low, but not the lowest on the market. A solid C-tier web host, in my undisputed objective opinion, which shall be taken as fact. Up next, I have GoDaddy, another extremely well-known and old company you could probably spot the trend by now. The most well-known and popular solutions are not always the best for you as a customer. Fun fact, GoDaddy was originally supposed to be named Big Daddy in 1999, but they couldn't secure the rights to that name as it was already registered, and they went with GoDaddy. How did they get to own over 20% of the Total web hosting market, these numbers are actually insane for one company. Well, with a multi-million dollar budget on advertisement, and naturally advertisements like these. Miss Capelli? Yes, I'd like to be on a commercial. And what will you be advertising? GoDaddy.com. Oh my gosh. Welcome. Thanks for Danica, having me. Danica, has GoDaddy gone too far this time? Well, Some say the commercial is too hot for TV. How hot is too hot? <laughs> I can show you exactly how hot is too hot for TV. Back in the day, their advertisements were probably even weirder than the ones I've just shown you. And while it's just between the two of us, I don't recommend you check what's under the domain name BigDaddy.com. But it's exactly what it sounds like. Not very safe for work. Anyways, not securing that domain name for their business might actually be a blessing in disguise. 
Anyways, the biggest downside of GoDaddy's shared web hosting plans is the price and performance ratio. They're kinda expensive to begin with, and they charge a lot of extra money for features that are usually free with other web hosting providers, like SSL certificates, website backups, website security, and all that good stuff. However, it is worth mentioning that during my testing, the speed wasn't all that bad. But considering the price you're paying, there are better options available. C tier. Keep in mind that I'm only evaluating their shared web hosting service. Some products they have, like the domain name registration or their website builder, are actually great products. But their shared web hosting? C tier. Objectively C tier. Okay, let's go digging through that trash that is D tier. We've got a free web hosting provider here called Infinity Free, which is like a regular web hosting company, just worse in absolutely every single way. Obviously, the speed is slow, the control panel is very limiting and glitchy, they pretty much own your website if you host with them, and most likely, legal disclaimer, it is just my opinion, I think according to their terms of service, they sell your and your visitors' personal data to the highest bidder of advertisers. They even have this huge warning that if you do not accept email spam from them, they will shut down your account. What the hell, man? It's never use this service, it's just bad. It's trash, D tier. Next in the trash tier, we've got another free provider called the 000 Webhost, which admittedly is better, but still trash. While they're the best free option available, it's not something you want to use. You still get tons of limitations, their WordPress installer is very glitchy, Filming any tutorials or reviews using this provider is a huge pain and a time sink for me as I have to constantly restart my plans and stuff never works as intended. D tier. Now, the first paid provider amongst the free trash tier ones is Namecheap. What a twist. Yes, I do not like Namecheap. I've tried to do a review on them around four separate times, and every time it would crash or go down or not work as intended, making me frustrated and just stop writing the script, as I legitimately get frustrated using their service. Namecheap plans are extremely cheap, as the name would suggest. But in my experience, they seriously lack absolutely any resemblance of a good web hosting company. They're what I like to call a noob trap. Everything seems like really good, you get a lot of features for a cheaper price, but once you purchase it and start using the service, you got bamboozled. It's too late to cancel, they got your money, and you just gotta accept that either you lost that money or you gotta keep using their service. And it's not just my opinion in this case. If we would look at various subreddits like web development or web hosting, or even some Discord channels, there are plenty of complaints and from my experience, they're valid. Namecheap is a noob trap. Detail. And again, keep in mind that these are my experiences, this is my tier list. If you're using Namecheap and absolutely everything works fine for you, that's great. It doesn't mean that Namecheap is a terrible company, it just means that my personal experience with them we're sadly a D tier. Okay, finally, some good web hosting companies. The companies in B category aren't any higher because I don't think they're very general public friendly. All of these providers are good for only specific type of websites. A2 Hosting, a company that's focused on the newest technologies and the fastest loading speeds. Good support, good uptime, they're an independent company and they have fair pricing models. Very good, B tier. The reason I didn't put them any higher is due to the fact that their control panel is kinda hard to use and you only get the newest tech and all of the speed upgrades if you buy the more expensive plans. Their cheapest plan is totally not worth it. Up next we've got Scala Hosting. Or is it Scala Hosting? I think it's Scala Hosting but anyways you might be asking who? They're a little-known company from Europe that are trying to do their damn best to solidify themselves as a staple in the web hosting industry. 
I personally like them because they have their own data centers and they develop their own technology. That means they do not have to buy services from other companies, which makes their running costs cheaper and they transfer that reduced cost to you as a customer instead of taking larger profits. So you get better hosting for cheaper. They have developed their own control panel, they have their own security tools, they have their own server software. These guys will be big in the upcoming years and they have all of the makings of a great company. At the moment, their services are cheap, their servers aren't overloaded and the performance is great. And the last time I said this about a web hosting company a couple years back, well, they kind of exploded. So I don't know, I see a big future for Scala hosting. The biggest problem for them is that they're super focused on VPS and cloud hosting that's why I'm putting their shared web hosting plans in B tier. Finally, in the B tier, we've got none other than the seasoned warrior that is in motion hosting. Again, probably not a very well known name, even though they're like one of the oldest web hosting companies around, operating for 20 years now. Crazy. They've been around for so long, but in motion hosting still is pretty bad at marketing their services. There's barely any presence on them on YouTube, Facebook or other social media. But they do a good job at hosting your websites, which is the important part. Inmotion hosting has some of the most powerful web hosting solutions available, and they're primarily focused on large enterprises and business. That's why they're offering pretty much every single kind of web hosting that exists. I'm not even joking. They literally offer every kind of hosting there is. Shared hosting, WordPress hosting, virtual private servers, dedicated servers, private cloud hosting. They even sell cloud infrastructure as a web hosting service. So pretty much no matter how big or small your website is, Inmotion will offer decent hosting since they offer absolutely everything. And because they offer absolutely everything, there's nothing really special about them. Just a really good service. B tier. Host Papa. Yup. This goofy looking web host is actually A tier. Fun fact, if you think this logo looks uh, unique and not really something a large corporation would make, you're totally right. In 2012, Host Papa had a design contest named Who's Your Papa? where anyone could submit a logo design and Host Papa would choose a winner and give them an iPad for the design that they made. Somehow, big companies just never learn. You cannot go to the internet for branding advice. For us sensible people that are watching this video, we understand that perfectly well, but for big corporations, every single time they make the same exact mistake. 2007. Greenpeace allows the internet to name a whale. The result? Mr. Splashy Pants. 2012. Host Papa does a logo design contest and this is the result. 2014. A couple created a website named NameMyDaughter.com and allows the internet to name their newborn child. The top results included Cthulhu, Megatron and just Street Lamp. 2018, Kansas City allowed the internet to design a name of their new robot. The final picks included such gems as Botty McBotface, Jeff and Pipey McPiperson. In the end, Jeff won. What did we learn from all of this? Do not let the internet decide your branding. Anyways, talking about web hosting, what makes an A-tier web host? Well, it's easy to use for everyone, the prices are low, the performance is fast, and the support is decent. Host Papa ticks all of those boxes pretty nicely. If you're from Spain or Canada, I highly recommend Host Papa since they have the best infrastructure in those two locations. And this regional limitation is why they're not S-tier. Next up, a familiar face. Finally, right? Dreamhost. No funny stories to tell here. Dreamhost is just an extremely cheap and reliable web hosting service that has a good track record. 
Actually, DreamHost offers the cheapest one-year web hosting plans, coming in at just $47 for the unlimited plan for a whole year. This paired with their 100% uptime guarantee, which states that if your website goes down due to their fault, they will give you one day of free hosting for each hour you're offline. Makes them a great choice. Not much to say here, just a really good A-tier web host. DreamHost is an independent company that has designed their own controls and their web hosting infrastructure, which by the way is top notch, so they do not rely on any third party assistance when getting their web hosting services to you. Anyways, they're my go to choice when I need cheap, yet reliable, and just a little bit hipster. Moving on, another popular choice. Bluehost. Bluehost is extremely popular with beginners, while more seasoned users tend to stay away from this web host. Bluehost is like a training wheel web hosting provider, offering cheap plans, plenty of features, and most importantly, a tool-filled environment to learn, experiment, and host your first projects. There's not much that can go wrong using Bluehost, as they have developed their own tools for you to control their service. So why do seasoned web developers never recommend or use Bluehost themselves? Because they're slow. They're slower than Hostpapa, they're slower than Dreamhost, and they're definitely slower than anything that's gonna come above in this list. Why are they A tier though? Because different websites have different goals and different people have different skill sets. Let me explain. Speed is not always a factor. For many beginner website developers, it's much more important to have an easy-to-use and feature-filled environment. They're not planning to have hundreds of thousands of users right away, so something that's easy to use has more value. As I like to say it, it doesn't matter if your car has a top speed of 200 or 150, if you only plan to drive it at 80. Okay, so we're done playing around. From this moment onwards, it's big boy zone only. Every single web hosting provider in the S tier is unique. It does something that the competition does not. First, we've got InterServer, a company that treats you like a human being, not like a bag of money. Isn't that a refreshing change for once? InterServer's prices are consistent for the most part meaning only the cheapest plan goes from $5 to $7 a month after expiring. Every other plan stays at the exact same price that you purchased it for. InterServer also has a price lock guarantee, meaning if you're a customer with them and you pay $7 each month, even if they raise the prices of their plans in the future, since you signed up for $7, you'll keep paying $7. And finally, all of the extra features that are usually paid with other companies, like basic security, are included in the base InterServer package, so no need to worry about buying extra features. InterServer is fast, they're cheap, and most importantly, they're fair. They're an independent company with the focus on the user, so you can always be sure that you're getting the help and the service that you're paying for. Awesome company, definitely an undisputed S tier. Hostinger. Now, Hostinger is not just great, they're fucking awesome. Hostinger does pretty much everything that InterServer does, they just have a better looking control panel and servers all across the world, not just the United States. They have heavily disrupted the web hosting market by not being greedy and just genuinely trying to provide a great service instead of milking their servers for the most profit before cashing out. Hostinger uses all of the latest web hosting technologies, they have their own data centers with their privately owned servers. On top of that, they keep the prices low, like seriously low. You could get started for $1 a month and not compromise on quality. Their web hosting speed is among the fastest in the industry, their prices are the lowest. The control panel looks great and feels great, apart from the fact that it's a bit slow. They have 24-7 support and keep developing new features for free. What I like about them is that they don't stay still. They're always looking for new ways how can they improve their service 
or reduce their operating costs and then transfer those reduced costs to you as a user. And that's exactly what you want from your web hosting company. S tier, definitely best bang for the buck or best performance to price ratio that you can get on the market right now. But what if you don't want the best price to performance ratio? What if you want the best money can buy, period? Site ground. The newest tech belongs to site ground. The newest designs belong to site ground. The best performance optimization tools are located at site ground. And their whole brand is focused around this notion of no compromises. We are the best. And even though you pay a little bit higher price than with other web hosting companies, that money that you pay goes to some of the best web hosting experience that you can get on the market right now when it comes to shared web hosting. Again, they're just the best. Even their cheapest plan include premium features like daily backups and content delivery network integration. However, the real power of SiteGround is unlocked with their Grow Big, Go Geek, or Cloud hosting plans. Over the years, SiteGround has been extremely performance oriented, and they have actually evolved past what I would call a regular shared web hosting company. I don't even want to compare them to providers like Hosting or Bluehost anymore, because SiteGround became a thing of its own. I would actually much rather compare them to something like WP Engine, Kinsta or Flywheel that's a fully managed service that's really really expensive. And when compared to those guys, SiteGround is actually a budget option. For example, each WordPress website created with SiteGround comes with a free plugin called SG Optimizer. This allows even complete beginners to automatically optimize their websites for speed. This includes code and image size reductions, caching, lazy load features, and much more. And all of this is free, it's included in your plan. If you would want to achieve the same results with other web hosting services, you would need to spend around $30 extra just on premium plugins. As I've said before, SiteGround is now a better comparison to something like WP Engine or Kinsta or even Flywheel, which all start at more than $20 a month. Anyways, thanks for watching this mess of a video. This was definitely some of the most research and editing heavy video that I've done on this channel so far. And I'm able to make videos like this just because people like you, when buying their web hosting plans, they use the discount links in the description down below and I make a commission. This is how I support myself and the YouTube channel and then I reinvest all of the money that I get into getting better quality videos, more research and just more interesting content for you guys. So if you liked this video, it would really help me out if you click like, subscribe and all of that stuff. I'm not your mom, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but thanks for watching.